In this lecture, we will talk about the operating system. So what is an operating system? An operating system is a system software. What do you mean by system software? System software is the most basic component of a computer system which controls the user input, the user output, that is the I.O. part, copying files, printing files and so on and so forth. The operating system acts as the resource manager of computer hardware like RAM that is the memory, CPU that is a processor and the disk that is a storage. The users uses the operating system through which commands are supplied to the computer to how to control a machine through commands and user inputs. The operating system is also sometimes used to manage the system automatically like in the servers that is how a server is being generated files are being transferred. From our previous knowledge we already know that computers are digital in network. Digital that is is composed of hardware and software. The synergy between the hardware and software helps the machine to stand alone and helps the user to control the, the, the various aspects of the computer system. The machine code is the language that a hardware understands but it is the thing is that it is quite difficult for a non-technical or, or a normal human being to understand because the combinations of zeros and ones are quite daunting to understand. That is why softwares are written in high level languages like Java and C++ which we will study in the, in, in the book forward. Java and C++ are high level languages which means they are human readable. So they are easily being converted to the machine, lang machine language. So this translation between high level language to a machine language is being done by the compilers which resides above the kernel. So a kernel is the main part of an operating system. Let us look some look at some widely used operating system. Linux, Windows as we know it, Windows 7, Windows 10, Mac OS, which is from presently found in MacBooks of Apple. Now let us look at some most widely used operating systems found in phones. Android iOS most commonly found on the iPhone devices. The first, the very first operating system was the IBM 701, also known as the Defense Calculator, released in 1952 in the US for defense purposes as we know it. Need of our system controlling input and output using different applications at the same time that is why we call it as a multitasking sometimes we need to use different applications at the same time like copying files and sometimes also playing music so we are seeing that we are playing uh, music along with transferring some files between a pen drive and the, and the, and the desktop so we can say that it is a multitasking operating system Viewing files, and fi viewing files and saving the files, browsing the web, copying and moving and taking back of files in case of a comp complete failure of, failure of the operating system. What are the structures of an operating system? The main structures of operating system are shell and kernel. So the kernel is the main software in the operating system because an operating system is a vast software which has many different parts, moving parts which which is the main, the main, the main engine of an of a kernel of a operating system is the kernel. So the kernel is the core part of the operating system. It is made of a process management, which handles different processes at the same time. Input and output file management, that is the connecting mouse, connecting a keyboard to a com to a computer. So they, these are processes which are being handled by the system. 
on the file management that is how files are being stored in the disk how files are being used in the disk how, how frequently the file is being accessed by the operating system this is all handled by the kernel so there are different kinds of kernel for different kinds of operating system for example linux has a linux kernel windows has the windows nt kernel and the mac os has the darwin kernel the next thing that decides above shell decides above the kernel is the shell the shell is a software that interfaces with the operating system and the kernel so the shell may be sometimes command line user interface and sometimes be graphical user interface command line user interface most commonly de deals with commands like cd which stands for change directory directory also means folder dir means to display the list of directories available in the following in the following drive copy to copy files between two two disks or two drives or two folders del to delete the com del to delete the files any files or folder and cls to clear the screen the next thing is a gui gui works on the concept of what you see is what you get visivac concept which deals with the point and click foundation we we point a mouse on a on a window that we then we perform the following tasks like maximizing minimizing closing the application and so on and so forth the basic that the basic thing of gui is that any question related to this topic will be available in the video link below the video link below will have a, a pdf file which contains all the questions and answers available for this chapter thank you for viewing this video